Hello, Year 3. OK, today's PHSE lesson about dreams and goals. Last week, we looked at different challenges that people face, whether that be jumping from a great height into a swimming pool or wearing a hearing aid because people can't hear very well. This week, we're going to be looking at similar challenges for people. Our two learning objectives are, can I learn to enjoy facing new challenges and finding different ways to achieve them? And can I break down a goal into a number of steps? The first task is to look at the following pictures and write down all the items that you can see that decorate the garden. In this picture, I can see a gnome. I can see stepping stones on a gravel path. I can see a bridge with what looks to be a lamp next to it. All of these features add to the garden and the feel of it with the patches of grass and the different textures to walk on. Now it's your turn. I'm gonna go through the slideshow and I'd like you to stop the show, stop the video when you need to and write down as many different features as you can see in each garden. So we've already talked that different people face different challenges and some people may have difficulty seeing, others hearing, some may be in a wheelchair or just generally have difficulty moving around and there are lots of different challenges that people face every day. Your task today is to design a garden for a person with a specific difficulty. You can choose which difficulty it is and then create your garden around that. So for example, if you decided to plan a garden for somebody that could not see very well or had difficulty seeing, you might want to include some very bright contrasting areas or flowers so that they're easier to pick out. You might also want to consider areas where they perhaps got smell, different smells. Maybe if you were planning a garden for a wheelchair, you might consider having flat paths with things raised so that they're easy to get to and easy to look at. And if you're planning a garden for children, you might very well think about what play equipment you might have in there and what color that would be and whether that would blend into the garden or stand out. Ms. Heal and I are really looking forward to seeing which gardens you design and which difficulty you choose. So don't forget to send pictures in and we'll see you soon. Bye now.